just outside South Bend at Mishawaka, Indiana. Jeff Pond, the one of the umpires with Anthony Eats. Doug Shaw's the referee. And Burton on the attack. Tried to bounce it down to Zona. Taking away Melora Brown. Another Notre Dame turnover be their fourth. Hitting just five field goals in 18 tries. And they've made this 7-0 run while the Citadel hits their first field goal in their last five on the dunk by Melora Brown. Five straight from Melora Brown has pushed the Bulldogs back in front. Dan, here's the first of the five. I'm not sure the schoolyard approach was the exact science that went into play here. <laughs> Now, uh, Wes, when it the clock runs that long, I'm not sure there is an exact sign. No, I think you're right. There's a driving score by Madison Durr. Oh, a crafty sophomore guard who was all freshman a year ago in the Southern Conference. Averaged seven points, three rebounds, two assists. Played with a, and there's Panesny again. He's come back with a little bit of vengeance. And attack the interesting the basket, thing about Panesny, Wes, he drives... Roberts trying to get baseline. Nicely done by Shrewsbury. Four to shoot. Elijah Morgan launches. Oh. It is. Pair of threes for Morgan. Lead is four for the Bulldogs. Scoop and score. Podesta. Because of his friendship with Ed Conroy's sons. But here tonight... Now with 3.08 to play, here is Durr. Trying to sneak into traffic. That ball got deflected, I think, from Davis. Jai is also in traffic, now turned over, and here's Konezny down the lane, scores and draws the foul. J.R. Konezny's got it. Really lifting Notre Dame. He's a 6'3 freshman from Lake Mills, Wisconsin. And I think this is, uh, there's a three ball from Durr. He's now got nine in this first half. Ed Conroy knows he's got some Midwest guys on his roster. Here's a drive and score by Marcus Burton, who's now got seven in the first half. Inside Konezny. Now back to Chai on the post. Over the wall. Brown, it rolls in for Kevin Jai and the Irish in front. Entry pass from Durr to Malora Brown. And now turned over by the Bulldogs. Shrewsbury ahead for Burton and the layup good. Into the corner, here's Morgan. He'll get a screen for a three, and now Elijah Morgan knocks another one down. It's sort of been a theme for each team, Wes. And they seem to get rolling a little bit, then they turn it over. And here is a breakaway on a steal by Elijah Morgan. And another offensive rebound. That, I think you know, turnover is probably going to be charged to Morgan, but Kinesny. This is Robert, or Mark, Marcus Pegram has come on the floor wearing zero for the Bulldogs. Tough shot in traffic, and that's A.J. Smith. Largest lead of the night now for the Bulldogs on the second field goal of the night for the sophomore from Charlotte. And we've said a couple times, Smith is a big, strong guard. Those are the kind of shots he can make. And Roberts trying to get things square. Pegram, rather, trying to get things square offensively. Pegram, baseline, back out front. Here is Morgan. Step back three off the window for Elijah Morgan. Wow. Well, Elijah Morgan's caught fire tonight. He continues to. For these Irish. Melora Brown working on Zona. Davis on the drive, blocked by Zona. Out of there, Shrewsbury and Notre Dame in transition. And Burma oh had to finish the layup. Other way comes Smith, and A.J. Smith gets the and one. There, Notre Dame misses one they should have had. And then Smith, we talked about his strength as a guard. He takes the contact. His average in just six of his last 15 from the floor. He's only taken three shots tonight. Shrewsbury, a deep three. And 
Looked like Booth couldn't quite flag it down. And on the drive, a Euro and a bucket for A.J. Smith. Boy, that was some rebound, and then he just took off, and nobody stopped him. Yep. Coast-to-coast -coast move for Smith. 11 now in the ball game, 9 in this second half, and here are the Bulldogs again in transition. And this is the layup for Madison Durham. And the Bulldogs get it in overdrive. First, a terrific. And one and done is Notre Dame. And that's turned over by Citadel. Here's Burton, and one with the score. Burton, that's pretty impressive, but Kinesny knocks the ball away, and then Burton picks it up, and he's just flying to the basket. Good thing we're going to South Bend during the ACC travels to find out more about JT Kelly's business, but tonight is about Ed Conroy and the Citadel Bulldogs.